Hello everyone, it's me once again. So what we have here obviously is the Samsung Z Fold 3. I couldn't resist the temptation over a week after I went to the Samsung Center. So I decided to order it. So here, here we have the uh, Samsung Z Fold 3. Very eco-friendly package, should we say. And th this is a trend, isn't it? Like everyone is trying to go for this eco trend and I'm not really happy with it. I like the nice packaging. I could keep it and mount it together. But once you unbox this, this will become pretty much useless, wouldn't it? And below is when you actually pre-order the Z Fold 3, apparently you get a case, protective case cover as well. So I think that's what it's for. But forget about this. Let's get into the unboxing of the Z Fold 3. So here it goes. So let's see where we could open up. Okay, here it is. Brilliant. The moment of truth. <laughs> okay, that's really interesting actually. What? There's nothing inside here. Oh, okay, so there's some paper wrap. Oh, it's like this package. The boxing is upside down, inside out. I don't really understand. If they're going for eco-friendly, why don't they actually do this sort of whole package the other way around? Because it's the same result when you dispose it. But anyhow. Yep, here we have it. The Galaxy Fold uh, 3 5G, the original box. So, quite heavy. Good feel. So let's open this up as well. Right, so it says on the back inside the sticker that uh, do not accept if the seal is broken. I don't want to unwrap the seal, but uh, for the sake of review, let's do it. ASMR. Oof. I totally ruined it. Nice, look at that. So on the bottom side, you got the um, speaker and the USB-C uh, slot there and um, the fingerprint reader volume up down and on the top, there's another speaker there. So, wow. Okay, so I guess if you actually watch it this way, you'll be able to hear the sound coming in on both ways. And finally, on the um, left-hand side, there's a SIM card slot, okay? So, let's take it out. ASMR. Nice. So what I ordered is the Phantom Green. So let's see the, oh, look at that. That's really nice actually, isn't it? Okay, so that is the Phantom Green. I don't know whether you guys can see that. And a tiny sticker there. Okay. And um, nice, I like that. The way how it closed, it's like really calm and steady. So we can see that um, three cameras here. I have no idea which one is which. Just so you know, I'm not an expert on camera, but I just like to buy expensive stuff. Um, yeah, and um, that's how it looks like when it's folded. And we got the glorious Samsung going on here. And the bottom hand, we got the actual thing folded all together. That's beautiful. Now, regards to the rest, I'm sure you know it's similar to the feel of uh, the other phones I have. And um, yeah, so all the manuals and right. So you don't really get the power plug because there's so many of them nowadays, I guess, and a really good quality of the USB-C cable, USB-C to USB-C. Ah. Oh, that's a bit of a change. That's very interesting. Not the USB, uh, the other one. Um, and then the SIM card pin. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Yeah, so you can see there's a crease there and already fingerprint. Um, but anyhow, um, I think this crease happened after the first fold. Um, but I'm sure when you actually see the full display, it's gonna be okay. I can see there's a screen protector there and also, can you see the camera? Apparently this disappears. So that'll be quite interesting. Uh, front facing camera that is. And on the uh, front screen, I can feel that there is the um, screen protector already there as well as a default. So 
that's about it. So let's actually start it up. Love that. Right, so we've got some, okay, weird language. Where's the English popping up? Come on, start. Oh, I see. Okay, so you've got to press it and then um, choose English. So I'll choose the, there's so many, okay, United Kingdom, next. Um, a few legal, okay. Next. Add a network. I mean, look at that keyboard uh, configuration. That's really cool, isn't it? So that's much easier for a uh, larger screen to type. Okay, so let's type in the password. So I was initially puzzled why I've been given a USB-C to a USB-C and I finally realized it might be because when I copy the apps from my Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, um, then it will be transferred straight away with all the apps. So let's try that. So let's press the next. Updating smart switch. Okay, select the source. So it's Galaxy Android, agree. Um, but before that, I don't know whether you can see the pixelated camera. Let's try to zoom in, okay. I can see a pixelated camera uh, lens here, but I don't know whether it, was actually, it will actually be shown on the camera recording here, but that's quite very interesting. Anyway, so let's get connected using the cable. Yes, so let's connect this one and then use the USB to connect to my Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Okay, it's actually charging it, but it's connecting now. Um, get connected. Check your phone to start data transfer. Okay, so let's allow. So you have to allow for that. Connect to Galaxy um, Z43 5G. So it says 12% transferring media. Okay, so let's leave it till it reach 100%. Well, that was very quick, actually. Is that it? No, there must be more. Transfer. That is so easy because that's one of the fears you have, isn't it? When you actually buy a new phone, how do you transfer all those files? And this is the best way, isn't it? You just get it connected and make sure they just swap all these data to each other. So I need to sign on Google, okay? Yeah, that's kind of cute. It says, do you wear glasses? Okay, yes I do. So let's try that out, shall we? Okay. 70%, continue. No face detected, come on, man. Okay, that's good. Okay, so it says, you're all set up, so finish. Let's see. Um, wow, look at that. That's a beautiful display, isn't it? I don't know whether you can see it. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. Uh, that, that is really cool as well. Search for your new mobile plans. Cancel. Anyway, I got Netflix here. Um, I need to insert my SIM later on, but it's still downloading. Um, and let's see if it's actually getting... See, this is the thing. Bigger screen, you can see the app in a much quicker way. Um, and I like that. So I think I'm sure I need to um, add more apps on it. So let's leave it to be installed. Okay, so let's try out the camera test, shall we? Um, so that's the smaller version. That's fine. Okay, so normal version. Okay, zoom right in. Okay, so you can only see a bit of a screen i think the screen has been a bit cut off but let's try to zoom in a bit shall we so that's 10 percent um that's not bad to be honest with you but hang on a second is that all you can reach all right let's just actually open it up and um right okay so is 10 percent the maximum zoom that you can zoom in because I thought the the back side of the lens actually has three different kinds. So I'd assume that it would have the same almost equivalent camera quality to the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. But in fact, now I look at it, I can see that the Galaxy S20 Ultra, by the way, it has this space zoom lens that's a square. But unfortunately, 
there are three same lenses but different kind of lenses so it seems like it's less of a uh, superior uh, camera lens here so that's a bit of a disappointment isn't it i actually expected honestly expected that one of the lens will be the space zoom lens but we don't actually have that for the uh, z fold 3 unfortunately so that's a bit of a disappointment oh dear yeah just like any phones you get for brand new it takes ages to transfer all your files um, i got several apps that i actually installed for tests and reviews and so on so i have to wait a bit to um, install all those apps so i think that's going to take a bit of a while but anyhow the reason i'm making this video is to uh, let you guys ask me any question in regards to this device the z fold um, 3 and um, let's say if you want me to try out certain apps that need requires a high spec or um, i'm actually planning to for the next video do the unboxing and the where is it this protection cover thing review um, also i'm gonna plan i'm planning to do the um, samsung dex performance as well which i assume is going to be pretty much the same anyhow but i do like the hardware side of it to see how well it could actually adapt to the samsung dex but again if you have any queries um, regards to spec or like performance or any of the things that you want to find out more uh, please do ask me because as you know I'm sort of like a guy who looks into all of my comments and try my best to come back to you guys. That's why I'm here for, unlike some other YouTubers who just never answer to your comments. Anyhow, so thank you very much for watching this video. Please do comment below and um, I'll see you soon. All the best. Bye-bye.